Can you remove the Q&A section in your Google My Business listing? Find that out, plus a lot more. And today we're going to look at your Q&A section on the GMB listing. So let's get right into it. We're going to look at a knowledge panel for a specific business here, and you'll notice that the Q&A section, the question and answer section, is right here on the knowledge panel on desktop on mobile. Uh, you have to click around and find it somewhere else, but on desktop, this is where it shows up. Now, to answer the first question that we had on the video title there, can you remove your Q&A section? And basically, the answer is no, you cannot. Google puts those on. They are user-generated, so people can ask any kind of question, and you just have to monitor it. So what can you do if, for example, you're asking, so, oh, I don't like this section, people are asking dumb things, I want to remove it. Let's see what you could do instead of removing it because you can't. Uh, let's go through some of the options that you have. So let's start at the beginning. Here's your, your Q&A section. If there's no questions, you'll have this be, be the first ask showing up. If you have some questions, you'll see see all questions and there'll be a number next to it. Now, sometimes you'll have uh, see all questions, but you'll actually have a Q&A highlighted in this area. So let's just show you the difference. Again, here's a listing with some questions and there's three. And here's a listing with some questions. And this one has some has one of them pulled into the knowledge panel itself. And I'll talk about that later, how you get that, because you can control that. If we go to a Walmart, you will see why we're talking about why people want to remove some of uh, this section, some of the specifics on this um, Walmart Supercenter, actually. What's going on is that there's a lot of people either reviewing or asking dumb questions or just putting information in there that is incorrect. And you, as a business owner, can flag these things when they break guidelines to get them off so if people are asking things and you don't want them to show up you can flag them and remove them so that's one way to control your q a section and you can't really see that through your gmb dashboard you have to actually go to the front end like we did pull up the knowledge panel and and look now gmb like google might change that in the future because they're always adjusting things but right now it's not accessible through the back end dashboard you have to go to do to google itself and look at the front end now you'll see that ah here we go why i hate green acres walmart so reason number four so this is not a question it's more like a review and if the business owner would go to report you pick one of these things so i would say off topic some of them are no longer applied. Let's say you had stuff for COVID and now it's not applied and like it doesn't make sense anymore to have it. You would do that. So you can control your Q&A section. Now, Google doesn't take it off right away. It goes into moderation. Usually it takes a few days for it to get checked. But definitely use that feature of reporting to get things that you don't want on your uh, listing. Sometimes the question is legitimate, but someone comes in and answers incorrectly or in a weird way and you just want to remove that so you, what you'll want to do is report that and besides those topics you can go to the prohibited and restricted content and I'll put a link in the description below where you can see what Google does not want to, to have on the knowledge panel basically and so you can go through here you can flag if you don't get a result we can escalate you can say hey it breaks this specific rule and then we can get that off so you can't get the section removed. So that's an issue for some from either because people are writing dumb things or because you're in a sensitive area like in, in medical or, or therapists or things like that where people are writing. And same thing with reviews. Some people are writing things that legally you're not supposed to have. So you have to flag them. There's no way to, to close off your section. So that's basically... Uh, the main idea of this video. So, oh, let's go back. I, I said that there's a way to um, to pull this in. So you'll see that if we go back to our Walmart, uh, can you guys put the right address in, please? So this one is showing up. That's maybe not the one you want to show. And so if we do go to see all questions again, you'll see that it's upvoted 
14 times. And if we go to this one, uh, where it shows up, and I do see all questions, do you do free consultations? And this one's uploaded four times. So the basic uh, rule as it is now is that if you upvote a question more than three times, the highest one will show up in your knowledge panel directly. So in this case, this was the most upvoted one. It's more than three. It's going to show up. Um, you'll see that none of them are upvoted higher than that. And so just to one last thing, if we go to this, you can use your, your Q&A section um, like an, your own FAQ, right? So this attorney, and it's easily, um, you know, you can see very easily that they've, they've seeded their own questions and then answered as the owner reply. So do you do uh, free consultations? How much does it cost? What should I speak with an attorney? How long? Like these are not questions that most people, a user generated, uh, like they don't just ask long form questions like this. Basically the business owner went in, asked the question, and then went in and answered the question. So you're allowed to do that. Totally acceptable. Google warns you to do that. And you'll see that when you do answer as the business owner, you get that owner listing that listed there. And so that's another thing to do to control your FAQ section. So let's say you have some bad questions on there, fill it out yourself, get a couple accounts, upvote, and then you can bury, you can bury the ones that you don't want to people to see. Because if you'll see like with the Walmart one, there's, there's tons and tons. We'll go back here. There's 25 questions for me to scroll down. I can scroll down. We got to reload and reload and reload. So by the time you get lower down, you know, people don't usually see those ones. So what you'll do is, is bury the bad ones with some good ones and upvote them and then they'll come to the top. So those are a few tricks um, in case you, you have some bad stuff and you flagged it and you can't get it off. And you don't want them to show too visibly then those are the things that you can do. So that's about it. Uh, if you like this content, subscribe, leave a comment, leave some questions. I'll try to get to them. They're not too specific. And yeah, have a great day.